Rachel McGuinness here from Zest Lifestyle and uh, I just wanted to film a, a video of a workout that I've just been doing recently. Uh, I do Tabata which is high intensity exercise where you're doing exercise for 20 seconds and then you have 10 seconds rest and then you do it again for another 20 seconds and you repeat this eight times and it's amazing actually how it works. It really builds muscle and it makes you so much leaner and you burn fat, which is what we all want. And I like to show people how they can do the best workout in the least amount of time. So you could adapt this to be a 15 minute workout, but this one was about 30 minutes. Uh, but I'm just gonna show you a precy of the exercises. Now, when you're doing Tabata or high intensity exercise, I recommend you get an, uh, an exercise timer for your iPad, iPhone or Android phone or tablet. It just makes life so much easier when you're trying to time the 20 seconds and the 10 seconds rest. So this is a, an example that, uh, that I've got here. The first exercise we're going to do are step ups. So um, I'm just going to put the timer on and uh, then you'll see how I do my step ups. So we're just going to do the first set with the right leg and then the second set with the left leg and just keep alter alternating uh, until we've done eight sets. Okay, we're starting off with the right leg. You heard the bell go for the uh, Tabata timer. Okay, now I've got 10 seconds rest. Step ups are a great way of uh, warming up when you're doing exercise. It kind of gets the heart going and gets you uh, a little bit out of uh, breath, but also, here we go again. Start with the left leg now, or the left foot. Excellent. So now we've done uh, 40 seconds. So I'm going to stop the video now because you don't want to see me doing four minutes of step ups. Okay, the next exercise we're going to do, we're going to do um, bicep curls and chest presses. So bicep curls, so keep your elbows right into your waist, keep your tummy in, that's your navel pulled into your spine and your knees slightly bent. So I'm using four kilo weights here, so they're not particularly heavy, but if you were doing this for eight sets, then they would be. The next thing we're going to do are we're going to do shoulder presses. So this is kind of my express workout. So you should really do the same exercise for eight sets. So here we go. We're going into shoulder presses, abs nice and tight, slightly bend the knees. And what you're doing is you're only bringing your elbows down to kind of right angles and then touching the weights at the top. I actually did a yoga workout before I filmed this video, so <laughs> you just carry on doing alternate bicep curls and um, shoulder presses for 20 seconds and then taking a 10 second rest in between. So you can see the time is going bonkers here. We'll go on to the next exercises now. And the next two sets of exercises we're going to do, so we're going to alternate um, doing squats and lunges. and. Uh, as I said before, this is my express workout, so I'm mixing up the exercises instead of uh, just doing one exercise all the way through. But you can do that if you want to. It's just that I've discovered that sometimes if I'm short of time and I've only got like 15 or 30 minutes to do a workout, then I'll kind of mix things up. And also, it stops me from getting bored because I do get bored really easily with exercise. I'm doing something called what they call prisoner squats. So my feet are hip width apart. My hands are just lightly behind my um, head. Um, my abs are pulled right in. And what I'm doing is I'm sticking my backside right out. So I'm actually feeling, as I squat, my buttock muscles really working. And my quads, these are my quads here. So we're on a 10 second rest. So next we're going to be doing lunges. Your feet should be um, hip width apart. And then you're going to step forward with your um, feet hip width apart, and then just dip down with the back leg first in that 90 degree angle, back up, push back, and then other foot forward, down, up, push back, keeping your core in the whole time. Now, if you're doing same side of the leg lunges, so you're gonna step forward, then you're gonna go down, back up, down, back up, down and back up. 
Okay, so the next thing we're going to do are uh, our chest muscles, our pecs. And uh, two great exercises that we can do for Tabata, which are chest presses and chest flies. I just want to run through the uh, techniques for uh, doing chest flies and uh, chest presses. So we're going to start off with the chest presses first. Make sure that your weights are in line with your chest and your arms are at right angles. So they're not kind of out here or they're not in. So they're, they're at right angles. Tummy in or navel to spine, breathing in. And then you can push upwards and slightly forwards and then back down to your starting uh, position. So you just keep repeating this. And breathe out as you push up, because that's the point of what they call exertion. Is it good? Okay. So to do chest flies, you just basically turn your uh, weights around 90 degrees. This is your starting position, and your arms are actually slightly crooked, so they're slightly bent. Breathing in, breathing out, arms out to the side, keeping them bent the whole time. So you're basically working from what I call the armpit muscle. So you're hinging from the inside shoulder muscles or your pecs. And the point of exertion is as you breathe out here. So we was uh, in fitness trying to breathe out on the point of exertion. Excellent. Okay, so chest presses. Okay, so we're on the 10 second rest, and uh, then we can uh, do the chest flies next. Make sure your arms are slightly bent and you're hinging from chest muscle, or call it the armpit muscle. And this exercise is great uh, for uh, ladies who maybe have a little bit of a cumulative uh, fattiness around the armpit area. So this exercise is excellent for that. Let's do an extra one. Okay, and then I'm on my 10 second rest now. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, show you a couple of killer ab exercises. So these are ones that I do all the time. I'm going to start off, I'm going to show you how to do a sit-up properly. So your fingertips should be by your temples. Your abs should be pulled right in. So navel to spine or belly button towards your spine. So just suck your belly in, in other words. Head off the mat. Breathing in, breathing out. And that's, oh, that's the movement you're making. So it's really only a small movement. A lot of what uh, people do is they go down on the mat and they come up again, they go down and all they're doing is exercising this bit in the back of the neck. Or you get the guys who sit sticking their feet under a sofa or whatever and they're pulling up by their feet. The method is head off the mat, tuck the abs in and it's a small movement. Breathe out as you come up. That's it. That's all you have to do. Okay, so the other exercise, which is a, a real toughie, but it really does work. And uh, if you do eight of these in the Tabata workout, you're doing really well. It's uh, what I call the lying down bicycles. Start off with both the uh, leg feet off the ground, extend one and take your elbow, alternate or opposite elbow to me. And then you're gonna go like this. You have to keep your abs in the whole time and keep breathing. And that leg needs to be low and straight out. If you're just kind of going like that or like that, you're not going to get such a good result. But it really depends on, you know, how your back is or how strong your abs are. And you do have to kind of build up to sort of getting a sort of stamina to be able to do this exercise. But if you can do it, it really does work your abs and you get fantastic results from it. And especially if you're doing it uh, with uh, in the style of Tabata. Let's get the timer on and uh, See how we go. It's going to start off with doing the sit-ups. So my abs pulled in, my feet are flat on the floor, my knees are bent, my fingertips are by the side of my temples, and I'm breathing out as I come up. So it's just small movements, keeping those abs engaged the whole time. Okay, we're on our second on our 10 second rest. Next, we're going to do the um, the bicycles. I'm not sure actually if they're really called bicycles, but anyway, one, two. So my legs are nice and low, keeping those abs in, elbows to opposite knees. You may not be able to touch your elbow with knees. It really just depends how flexible you are. And you can really start to feel 
that your abs are burning. And if your abs are burning, just take your um, knees towards your chest. Now, if you're finding it tough and you, you can't go anymore, don't give up. I'll just do another um, set of these and I'll show you what I do. Because um, if I just sort of lie there and not do anything, I'm not getting any exercise. Okay, so say for example, yeah, the abs are beginning to burn a bit now. The lactic acid is kicking in. Instead of just lying out, I'm going to just do sit-ups like that. Okay. I left it a bit too long. I <laughs> hope you enjoyed that workout. It was something that I did a couple of days ago that I just wanted to share with you. Don't forget to stretch out after you've done any kind of exercise. So you're doing upper body and lower body, body stretches. Um, this will actually reduce any muscle soreness that you get and also help prevent strains, sprains and injuries. So it's really important to stretch out after you've done exercise. Time for me to say goodbye and I will see you next time. So happy exercising.